So the first drawing we're going to do is a strip foundation with a concrete block wall and a concrete floor. Now, roughly in the middle of your page, down towards the bottom, we're going to start by drawing a rectangle. Okay? And your rectangle is going to be 10.5 centimeters or 105 millimeters. Okay, so leave two little dots. Start at zero, go 10.5 or 105 millimeters. And um, we're going to draw two vertical lines. Nice and light for a start. And the height of our rectangle is going to be 35 millimeters. Okay, and we're going to draw that line across. So these are nice light lines, but now you can see our rectangle is there. Next thing we're going to do, that's our foundation. Our wall is going to go in the center of it and go straight up. So from the left hand corner of your foundation, I want you to measure in 35. And we're going to measure another 35. And you should be left with 35. Okay. In the middle 35, we're going to go 10. And we're going to go 10 here as well. These are going to represent our blocks, the width of our blocks. So in each of those four little dots that we've just made, we're going to draw nice long vertical lines. Like so. Okay. So there are concrete block walls going all the way up. The next thing we're going to do is mark the heights of our concrete blocks. So the heights of our concrete blocks are 215 in real life. So on our scale, they're going to be 21 and a half centimeters. Okay, so mark it and move on and do the same thing over and over again. When we get good at this, we might be able to do them without actually moving our set square. But for the first couple of times, we might just do them like this. Now, I want you to mark eight concrete blocks in height. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm going to do one more. There we go. So that's the height I'm going to go to with my wall. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do now, at each of these marks that I've just done, I'm going to put two little lines on this wall and on this wall to represent the joining where the mortar would go in our concrete blocks. Now I'm going to do this a little bit heavier, just so we'll see it clearly. Okay, so you can kind of see what I'm doing. There's the joining. And in that joining is going to go the mortar for our concrete blocks to stick together. I'm going to keep going all the way up to our finished height. Okay, now our wall is nearly finished. There's just one little bit we need to do, and that is include insulation and, and a thing called infill. So we'll start with the insulation. 
we should have 150 mil of a gap here. Okay. What we're going to do is we are going to measure 10 mil from the right hand side. Okay. And we're going to draw a nice light line up. And from our third block, the top of our third block, we're going to draw a light line straight across. Actually, we can do this heavy. I'm actually going to start putting in a few heavy lines here now, just so it looks a little bit clearer on the video. Okay, and this is going to be our insulation, so we can label that with our squiggly lines in a minute. Now, the other thing I talked about was infill. The infill, there's no real measurement, but we're just going to draw a line here at an angle like this. And this here is going to be our infill. Okay, now the next thing I'm going to do is just go over my foundation heavy as well. Okay, so what have I done? I've done my foundation, and I've done my two concrete block walls, I've done my infill, and I've also found my insulation. Okay, so that's my wall and my foundation done. The next thing I'm gonna do is just mark the ground outside. So I'm just gonna draw a line over there, and that's gonna represent my ground outside. Okay. And I'm going to go to the inside now and we're going to work on the floor. Okay, so I think the easiest place to start with the floor is on the fourth concrete block. We're going to draw a line across. Nice horizontal line there. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to measure up 65 and that's going to be 6.5 millimeters. This is going to represent the screed, the really fine concrete. Okay, and on top of that, we're going to put our timber flooring, which is roughly two and a half millimeters in height. Okay. Underneath that, so from our starting line we had here, we're going to go down 150. This is for the concrete subfloor. Okay, and underneath the concrete subfloor, there's going to be 100 mil of insulation. Okay, underneath our insulation, we're going to have a layer of DPM, a radon barrier, but I'm not going to do that just yet. We can do that at the very end, but under, underneath my layer of, of radon barrier or DPM, we're going to have to have fine sand so that we don't puncture it by accident. And that layer of sand blinding is four millimeters. Okay. So there's my sand blinding. Now, underneath that, we're gonna have hardcore. So what I do with hardcore, each layer, we kind of mark it as 150. So I'm gonna do two little layers of it. Okay, and just from the top right-hand corner of your, of your um, foundation, I just want you to bring up any angle, doesn't really matter, but any angle at towards the right, just to the first line. Okay, so there are all my layers. There's my 
uh, flooring, my screed. This is going to be my concrete subfloor. This is my insulation. This is my sand blinding. And all of these layers here are hardcore, but they go in 150, 150 mil thicknesses. Okay. Now there's one little thing we need to add in. We need to have a little bit of insulation here, roughly 30 mil, which is three, um, three millimeters in our scale drawing. And it's just gonna go from the top of our sand blinding to the bottom of our, um, our screed. Okay, so there, that's our floor done. I'm gonna do it a little bit heavier now, just to uh, represent it. I'm gonna cut it off here. And I'm gonna bring all my lines over to that point. That is nearly my drawing done. There's just a few little things I need to do now. So obviously in our houses, we don't like seeing the blocks on the outside or we don't like seeing them on the inside. So what we normally do is we put a very thin layer of render on the outside, like this. Okay, and then we can paint that and it'll look nice. And the same on the inside. We put a layer of plaster roughly a mil or two thick. And again, that's easy to paint and it's nice and smooth. And the last thing I'm gonna draw is the skirting board. So again, there's no real set measurement for, the, for this and there's various designs you can get it, but something like that, just to represent the skirting board. Okay. Now, there's two things left to do. We're going to mark our DPM and we're going to mark our DPC. So our DPC is, is very simple. I'm going to label it in blue here. It's going to be above the ground so that the water can't, uh, can't get past it. And it's just going to go between the first and second concrete block above ground level. Okay, like so. So that's the DPC. The DPM or the radon barrier is going to go above the sand blinding, like so. I'm going to label it in red. It's going to go up the wall. It's going to cut across. It's going to go back down. and it's going to go out here. And that's our radon barrier done. So that's our drawing done. Now we just need to put in the symbols. So our squiggly line for insulation and our symbols for concrete and hardcore, etc., and label it. And our drawing should end up looking like this. <coughs> 